the ethical dilemma I've always struggled with in my career as a writer is that um, I tend to like the people that I write about. And I, I, I believe it's my duty and job as a writer to empathize with my subject, uh, not to get too high flown. Dostoevsky said, um, it's very easy to condemn the evildoer, um, but the challenge is to understand him or her. That's what I'm always trying to do. Um, and um, I, I, I sometimes end up favoring my subjects too much. Um, and then I have to be stern with myself and say, ethically, it's my job to dig out the nasty truths and to tell them as well. So um, that's what I try to do. I almost invariably fall out of favor with the people I write about. Um, my first book on Saudi Arabia was banned. Um, I am told this new book I've just written on Saudi Arabia will be banned. Um, one of my most successful books, I went to live in Detroit, Michigan, and wrote about the Ford family. And that was a wonderful experience to sort of live in a big old grimy American city. Although I could sentimentally afford to say that because I was going to go away and I didn't have to live with the problems of the Rust Belt. Um, I thought I'd painted a wonderfully sympathetic portrait of the Ford family, but they haven't spoken to me from that day to this. Um, and I can live with that. That's, you know, that's part of the, the job of being a writer. Um, there's a falseness to it. You, know, you, 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 you meet someone, you create a... I mean, you genuinely like them, but there's an element of facsimile in the friendship that you are creating because it's going to end the moment um, the the interview is over, and you have to understand, you know, realistically, um, I interview people to get something out of them, and they give me interviews because they want something out of me. We, and um, there's that bargain and compromise in, in every transaction that a writer or a journalist carries out. <laughs>